tragic death in the racing world that happened right here in Oregon. Jessie Combs, the so-called fastest woman on four wheels, died while trying to break a land speed record in her jet car. It happened yesterday afternoon in Harney County's Alvord Desert. That's in southeastern Oregon. KGW's Catherine Cook talked with a racer who knew Combs and even sat in the very car that Combs was killed in. Catherine? And Laurel, when Valerie Thompson heard the news, one of her first thoughts was it could have been her. Both she and others are mourning the loss of Jesse Combs tonight, both as a powerhouse in the industry and as an inspiration. It shows that there's a huge turning point in our sport that, you know, women are now becoming accepted, that there's times are changing. And in that world of land speed racing, Jesse Combs was the pilot, both literally and figuratively. On Tuesday, the 39-year-old race car driver and former TV co-host was in southeastern Oregon's Alvord Desert. She was driving her famed North American Eagle, a 56-foot-long jet-powered car. Her goal? Topping the current women's land speed record of 512.7 miles an hour. This video from the KGW archives is from 1976, when Kitty O'Neill set the record in the Alvord Desert. Combs died there, trying to break it. She was an inspiration to young girls. So, we know going into it that we could die. Ron Hughley is curator for the World of Speed Motorsports Museum in Wilsonville. Combs' death hit him hard. Cars are my life, so when I'm not here, I'm racing. He's also a crew chief for the Target 550, a streamliner designed to go 500 miles an hour based in Aurora. Valerie Thompson pilots the Target 550 and new Combs, two women piloting through rare air on the ground. It breaks my heart, you know. Yeah. She's such an inspirational person and, you know, her messages and her and her ways about her is just incredible. About five years ago, Thompson, who lives in Arizona, says she had an opportunity to pilot the North American Eagle before going in a different direction. She remembers sitting in its driver's seat. I turned on the afterburners. It's, it's, it's so amazing. It's, it's incredible. That horsepower is just wonderful, you know. That's one thing, but the safety, too, is another thing. Thompson says she had concerns about the North American Eagle's safety. She wonders what if it had been her. It's painful. Yeah. All we can do is do better and, you know, pay it forward. The Harney County Sheriff's Office is still investigating what caused the crash that killed Combs. Hughley says even when the investigation is over, he's confident their sport will go on. It's what drives them. We are the modern-day adventurers. So we'll continue to do it, you know, because there's always a record to be broken. It's, it's mm. Hughley, that museum curator, says it's his understanding that Combs may have just been doing test races in the Alvord Desert because there was no official sanctioning body there to record it.